next guest is known as the new teen queen. She is the star of Nickelodeon's popular series, Victorious. So please welcome for the first time on our show, Victoria Justice. Seventeen years old from Hollywood, California. Uh, oh, Florida. 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 Yeah. Florida. I, I, mean, right. I live in Hollywood, California now, but yeah, I'm originally no, from Hollywood. No, you're right. I'm sorry. She <laughs> liked Hollywood. She said, "I'm sticking with it." I'll exactly. Just move over there. From one Hollywood sure. to another. So now, how does somebody seventeen become so big and popular? What year did you start in this business? Uh, I started. Well, it, I was in Hollywood, Florida, and I started out modeling and doing commercials and stuff. At age. At, I was eight years old when I started. Mm. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. And did, did you know it was something you wanted to do? Like, did you watch television and say, I yeah. want to do that? I can yeah, do that. It was, that's exactly how it happened. I was watching TV one day, and it was just like some commercial with a kid my age. And I was like, Mom, 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 Mom. And she came running in, and I was like, I want to do that. I want to be on TV. I want to do all of that. And so, um, yeah, I started out modeling there, and I, I moved out to California when I was 11. And um, I booked a series of regular role on a show called Zoe 101. That was right, like my start. Course, yeah. And uh, now I have my own show called Victorious. How do you like that? And you're singing as well. I'm singing and I'm dancing and, you know, doing all that fun stuff. You're not writing the songs as well. I mean, I am writing songs. Um, <laughs> that when kids write songs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no, I really fine. think that it is uh, the kids today, I hate to call you kids, you, the young, young adults, adults of today <laughs> yeah. are a throwback to the young adults of the 50s where they had to do it all, sing, dance, right. act, really perform, real performers. Totally. I mean, I've been, I've loved music ever since I was little, so it's just such an amazing opportunity that I get to do all three on my show. It's been such an amazing experience, and I have so much fun every day. And it's just a coincidence that the name of the show on Nickelodeon is Victorious, and you are Victoria. <laughs> It's actually not a coincidence, because the show is kind of created for me, so I think Dan Schneider, the guy who created it, who's amazing, I love him, um, he kind of, it took him a while to come up with like the perfect name, but that's, that's what he decided on. Getting to dislike her even more. Oh, <laughs> outrageous. Everything you going You have a show way. with your name on come it. Come on, would you just read it? I get it. There's I plenty of room great. for both of you yeah. on this earth. And you made a movie as well. I did a Nickelodeon original movie called The Boy Who Cried Werewolf, mm -hmm. um, which is airing October 23rd at, at 8, I think, with um, Brooke Shields, which was so much fun. Oh my gosh, Brooke Shields. Yeah, she's you're amazing. Like a, you're like Brooke Shields of your generation. Thank you. That's yeah. a huge, I was like obsessed with the, the Blue Lagoon, so that's a huge compliment. Don't tell me you played the boy who I cried werewolf. I played the werewolf. boy. You did? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, wow. <laughs> she's the werewolf, I think. You no, turned I into play, a werewolf. Yeah, I play a girl who, um, who's kind of like not the most popular girl at school, and I, me and my family move into this castle in Wolfsburg, Romania, and I accidentally step on this test tube that has werewolf blood, and I start transforming into a werewolf. My gosh, so what was that like? That was an interesting experience. I, you, you know, um, going in the hair and makeup chair, I've never had that much hair. You oh, know, like yeah. people right, around, sure. a little, a little weird. But um, the prosthetics were amazing. I mean, it was done by the same guys that did uh, Chronicles of Narnia. They won an Oscar, so it was oh, in wow. Narnia. Wow, that's great. Yeah, it was Four really Four hours in that chair, right? But you became a, a good-looking war werewolf. I don't, know, I don't know if I call it good-looking, <laughs> but it was definitely uh, really, really cool. All right, let's take a look at you in action here on the boy okay. who cried werewolf. LB217. Hmm. Hunter! Good going! You are so immature! There's blood everywhere! They don't know what to do! Hide! Ow! Come on! I stepped on the glass! doesn't have enough to do, but you're also involved in a no UN uh, situation, right? Campaign. Yeah, 
saying? Yeah, the United Nations started this organization um, called Girl Up, and I recently became a champion for them. And it's such an amazing cause. It's basically about empowering girls here in the U.S. to help out our sisters, basically, in developing countries because they don't have clean water, they don't have any opportunity to have an education. Um, there's violence issues going on. So you can go to girlup.org and donate $5 and tell five friends, start a fundraiser, and there's so many things we can do to help them. Mm. And it's, it's devastating when I've seen these videos of these girls just sobbing because they just want an education so bad. And we have these opportunities, and they don't have any of them. So I just want to do as much as I can to spread the word and help them out, because I think it's really important. Very nice of you, Victoria. The boy you cried wolf airs Friday. October 22nd, 8 o'clock on Nickelodeon.